Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn about the subject of quantity surveying and estimation and in that we are going to learn about the topic data required for preparing an estimate. So this could be a qu question in the exam like what is the data required by the estimator for preparing an estimate for the building. So you can take down notes during the lecture and those will help you to answer the question in the exam. So let us see now what is the data required by the estimator. So the first thing that the estimator will require is drawings. So he will require working drawings which will include plans, elevations and sections and then he will also require detailed drawings of the parts of buildings which would be like toilet layouts, flooring layouts, then door and window details, railing details and so on. Next thing you will require is the structural drawings. So the structural drawings is going to give him the necessary information to calculate the quantity of RCC, columns, beams and steel. Next he will require drawings from other consultants such as drainage and plumbing consultant, HVAC consultant meaning heating, ventilation and air, condi air conditioning consultant, then fire fighting consultant etc. These drawings are also going to be important because all these services will also be included as a part of the project. Next thing you will require is specifications of all the items. So detailed specification of all items of work. Let us take the example of a flooring. Say for example we are, we are considering flooring then what type of flooring is used whether it is marble, vitrified tiles or any other type of tile and if so what is the type and quality of the marble or vitrified tile used. Remember that the type, quality or the material which is used will directly affect the cost of the project. Then he'll require information from the site. So he'll require site data. So what type of site data he will require? So first of all he will require a soil investigation report. The soil investigation report will give the estimator the type and depth of soil encountered. Then the presence of subsoil water if any. So let us say that the black cotton soil is encountered and it is at a very low depth or let us say that there is subsoil water which is present then that will increase the cost of the project. We will also require a contour survey of the site if the site is a sloping site. So in case of a sloping site there can be lot of cutting, filling and such other earthwork. This is also going to affect the cost of the building. Next thing that he will require is labor and material costs. So the cost of labor and cost of material will change as per the choice of the material and also as per the locality. So what the estimator has to do many times is to calculate the what we call as the rate analysis of an item. So both these rates he will require that is the rates of labor and rates of materials to come to a conclusion about the rate of the item. Next what he will require to know is where is the site located. So whether the site is near to availability of materials or is it far away and if it is far away then it will have an effect on the cost because the transportation costs will increase. Next point is that whether water and electricity are available on the site. Now water and electricity are the most important things that are required on any construction project. If water and electricity are not available then they need to be made available either by providing gen sets for electrical electricity or maybe water may, may have to be brought in from tankers. This will have a direct effect on the cost of the project. The last thing is the knowledge about government and local taxes. So these taxes will be over and above the project cost 
and therefore a thorough knowledge about the tax structure is essential for the estimator. So I hope you have liked this lecture and it will help you in your exam. If you have liked the lecture, give a like and subscribe to our channel. Share with your friends. For any queries, write to us at architectsacademy at gmail.com. Thank you.